OK, I'm going to tell you how to import SOLIDWORKS parts and assemblies into Mech Designer. On the left I have SOLIDWORKS running with a part as the active open as the active document. On the right Mech Designer is open with a simple rocker mechanism. I want to import this SOLIDWORKS part and attach it to the rocker part in Mech Designer. In Mech Designer, the part will be attached to a special line called a CAD line. This line has all the properties of a normal line in Mac Designer, but also it allows CAD parts to be attached to it. I just add a CAD line to the rocking part using the geometry editor. The first point added is the origin of the CAD line. By double clicking on the CAD line, we can edit its properties using its dialog. By clicking the top button in the dialog, we can get the name of the SOLIDWORKS active document and store it in the CAD line. The path is shown in the box below. We need to be sure that the solid part will be put in the right place relative to the CAD line. We can think of the CAD line as the x-axis of its coordinate system. The y and z-axis are defined because the line lies on the mechanism plane. If we just import the part directly from SOLIDWORKS, then the SOLIDWORKS default x-axis will align with the CAD line x-axis. However, this is not always where we want the part to be. We can specifically define a coordinate system in SOLIDWORKS to ensure that the part will be where we want it to be. And if it isn't, then we can easily edit the coordinate system and re-import. We start by creating a plane, making a sketch on it and drawing our X and Y axes. Then we define our coordinate system in SOLIDWORKS using these lines. Now, when we get the active document path, not only do we get the path, but also a list of all defined coordinate systems in the SOLIDWORKS part. In this case, there is only one to choose. This is the system uh, that Mech Designer will use. OK, so now we're ready to import the solid. Just press Import. Mech Designer asks SOLIDWORKS to convert its solid into an SDL file. It is this file which is read in by Mech Designer. To see the solid in the mechanism view, we must turn on solids by pressing the big purple box icon. Of course, we can change the colour and tra transparency of the solid model. The box at the bottom of the dialog lists the number of vertices. This will give you an indication of how much work your graphic card needs to do to keep the solid animating smoothly when cycling mechanisms. To a certain extent, you can control the number of vertices that solid works will generate by changing the tolerance in the box in the middle of the dialog. If you're interested in analyzing forces, uh, then you will need to import the solid mass properties. To do this, if you've already selected a solid works document, then just press the import properties button. Then click the mass properties tab to view the results. 
The centroid is given relative to the origin of the CAD line. The inertia is taken around the centre of mass. If you wish to now align the CAD line with the part origin in MechDesigner, then go into the geometry editor of the part and constrain the line as required. Now suppose we have done lots of design on our mechanism. Then if you are like me, you will probably work uh, switching back and forth between SolidWorks and MechDesigner. The problem with this is that the Mo MechDesigner model will fall behind your SolidWorks model. Uh, to help deal with this, there is a feature that allows you to synchronize your MechDesigner and SolidWorks parts and assemblies. If you right click on the mechanism you are working on in the assembly tree, you can edit the mechanism and keep your model synchronized. This lists all the CAD line parts referenced in your mechanism. A green ball shows that the mech designer solid is up to date with the SolidWorks model. An orange ball shows that it is out of date. You can either synchronize all or select only those which need updating. In this case, I have selected out-of-date items and started updating them. When the process is complete, all CAD lines are shown as up-to-date.